So I wanted to do another um, video because I was listening to a song on the way home from a doctor appointment today. And I could hear like, how do I put this like songwriting wise? Like there's chord changes not in the same pattern as the lyrics, right? Which I know is like kind of basic songwriting, but you know, some songs are flat out like there's there's four lines, there's four chords, one per line, you know, or it's split up in, you know, divisions of two or something. But like there, there was, this, I was listening to a song from Russia Blood to the Head, the Coldplay album from the 90s. I still play it on repeat. Um, I love that. But a lot of those songs are... Is my phone moving? No, it's not. Okay. A lot of those songs are like piano, uh, bass run things with the actual melody running the show. You know what I mean? And there's like guitar licks in there, but not like fully... You know, that's not like... The, it's not like Neil Young, which is like... Pfft, like bashing chords at you. Um, it's a very different production style. So that's what I'm used to when I'm listening to Coldplay. But I was, um, yeah, I was listening to In My Place and I'm like, what? I heard like a, for the first time in like decades, I, I heard like a, a chord change I didn't know was in there because it was in the middle of a line or something. And I'm like, wait a minute. And then the way my brain goes like, okay, what's the structure? Or like what? I don't know, what's the skeleton of the song? I like saying that. And I'm like, wait a minute. And so I could hear, like, I have, like, relative pitch, so I could hear, like, a fifth turnaround. And, like, there was a minor fall in it. And I'm like, wait a minute. So if you go on, like, guitar websites, you can see, like, tablature and chords for it. And it, like, it was, like, almost there. Like, that's the drone. Yeah, right. I'm like, that's the right pattern, but it didn't sound right, because there was a lot of... I'm like, that's the minor fall. Right? It's the right circle. Like, it's the right... But it just wasn't the right... I don't know. Again, with me, I have, like, synesthesia, so... That is very blue and lavender and green, that whole E and But the song is, it reminds me of U2 in a way. So like, that was completely incorrect. I'm like, that is not right. And so I went and I found a acoustic show, poorly filmed on a cell phone or something. And I could, thankfully it was like without the band. So I could see them trying to make it happen with just like, um, is the singer's name Chris? It was just the two of them, right? And they did. And I was like, oh, that's why. Because there's a, a U2 song. I have, yeah. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. That reminded me of this song. And so it was like, is it D? Is it D? And sure enough, uh, yep, yep. So that means um, I'm going to do a capo because my voice is. I think he is an octave above me, so this is a little low for me. Um, so I have to bring it up a little bit. And I know now I'm doing it in that octave, which didn't sound right, but it's at least it, there's a capo on. In my place. It's a G, and he's singing like, in my place, in my place. The lines that I couldn't change, I was lost, oh yeah. I was lost, I was, that's, 
It's the third. He's doing that John Lennon, Kurt Cobain thing, singing the third above where you are. I was lost, I was lost. Cross lines I shouldn't have crossed. I was lost, oh yeah. How long will she wait for you? Yeah, how long will she pay for you? Yeah, how long will she pay for you? For you? I was scared, I was scared Tired and underprepared But I wait for you And if you go, if you go Leave me down here on my own But I wait for you Yeah Come back and sing to me, to me, to me. Come on and sing it out now, now. Come back and sing it. Isn't that cool? That's that song's got a lot more texture than I thought. In my place, in my place. Lines that I couldn't change, I was lost, oh yeah. I was lost, I was lost. Cross lines I shouldn't have crossed, I was lost, oh yeah. That is really pretty. And then, of course, pull the guitar away from it. And you, you got the bass running. Doo, doo. And yeah, I have a newfound appreciation for that song. I guess a couple decades late. Or more than that. But granted, that is cool. That, that, yep, yep. Especially this. Yeah. Oh, that's an, that's an E. Again, singing a third above. This is a C. With a little bass on it. A little G bass. Yeah. I have a newfound appreciation for this song. That's all. That's that's the end of my my rant. Bye.